Good day students, today we're going to discuss deriving trigonometric identities involving sum and difference of angles. In applying appropriate trigonometric identities in solving situational problems, you should use the concept of the unit circle and its properties. So for the learning outcome, derive trigonometric identities involving sum and difference of angles. Coordinates of point in a unit circle. Recall that if t is a real number and theta is an angle having a radian measure t, then sine t equals sine theta and cosine t equals cosine theta. Moreover, if t is the length of an arc on a unit circle with initial point A, 1, 0, and terminal point P, x, y, then y equals sine t and x equals cosine t. Cosine difference identity. Now, let us derive the cosine difference identity. To start, let u be any real number such that u is greater than 0 but less than 2 pi. Point P1 is the terminal point of the angle having initial point A and length u. The coordinate of point P1 is cosine of u and sine of u. Let b any real number such that b is less than u. Point P sub 2 is the terminal point of the angle having initial point A and length V. The coordinate of point P sub 2 is cosine B sine V. The angle between P sub 1 and P sub 2 is U minus B. Let us draw the angle U minus B with the initial point A 1 0 and terminal point P sub 3. The coordinate of P sub 3 is cosine U minus P, sine of u minus p. The distance between p sub 1 and p sub 2 is the same as the distance between p sub 3 and a. Thus, from geometry, the length of the segment p sub 1, p sub 2 is equal to the length of the segment a, p sub 3. Squaring both sides, we get p sub 1, p sub 2 squared equals a, p sub 3 squared. We use the distance formula to get values of p sub 1, p sub 2 squared, and a p sub 3 squared in terms of sines and cosines of u and b. Simplifying the equation, we get p sub 1, p sub 2 squared equals 2 minus cosine u times cosine b plus sine u sine b. Look at the solution, cosine u minus cosine b and sine u minus sine b were squared. And then, the like terms were just combined. The terms were simplified in order to arrive at 2 minus 2 times cosine u cosine b plus sine u sine b. We also simplified the other equation to get ap3 squared equals 2 minus 2 cosine u minus b. Okay, so... Take a look of cosine u minus b minus 1 squared plus sine u minus b minus sine 0 squared. So as you can see, those words squared. Okay. And then uh, the terms were also simplified. Combining the like terms. Okay. Since p sub 1, p sub 2 squared equals a p sub 3 squared. P sub 1, P sub 2 squared equals 2 minus 2 times cosine U times cosine B plus sine U times sine V. And A P sub 3 squared equals 2 plus 2 times cosine U minus P. We get cosine of U minus B equals cosine of U times cosine B plus sine U times sine B. Cosine difference identity. The equation cosine of u minus b equals cosine u times cosine b plus sine u times sine b is an identity as it is true for any real numbers u and b. This is called cosine difference identity and we write it now in terms of a and b. Now, let us derive the cosine sum identity. If in the cosine difference identity, cosine of a minus b equals cosine a 
times cosine b plus sine a times sine b, we replace b with negative b, we get cosine of a plus b equals cosine a times cosine of negative b plus sine a times sine negative b. Applying even add identities, cosine of negative b equals cosine b and sine of negative b equals negative sine b. We get cosine of a plus b equals cosine a times cosine b minus sine a times sine b. Cosine sum identity. The equation cosine a plus b equals cosine a cosine b minus sine a sine b is an identity as it is true for any real numbers a and b. This is called the cosine sum identity. Co-function identities. We can use the cosine sum and difference identities to obtain other identities. If in the cosine difference identity, cosine a minus b equals cosine a cosine b plus sine a sine b, we let a equals pi over 2, we get cosine pi over 2 minus b equals cosine pi over 2 cosine b plus sine pi over 2 sine b. Then cosine pi over 2 minus b, so cosine pi over 2 is 0 times cosine b plus sine pi over 2 is 1 sine b. So now it will be cosine pi over 2 minus b equals sine b. From cosine pi minus b equals sine b, if we let b equals pi over 2 minus b, then we get uh, cosine pi over 2 minus pi over 2 minus b equals sine pi over 2 minus b. So cosine b equals sine pi over 2 minus b. For the tangent function, we use the fundamental identity tangent pi over 2 minus b equals sine pi over 2 minus b all over cosine pi over 2 minus b. Since cosine pi over 2 minus b equals sine b and cosine b equals sine pi over 2 minus b, then tangent pi over 2 minus b equals cosine b over sine b and tangent pi over 2 minus b equals cotangent b. The equations shown are identities and true for any real number. The equations cosine pi over 2 minus b equals sine b, sine pi over 2 minus b equals cosine b, and tangent pi over 2 minus b equals cotangent b. These are called co-function identities. Sine sum identity. Deriving the sine sum identity. From the co-function identity, sine b equals cosine pi over 2 minus b, we let b equals a plus b. We get sine a plus b equals cosine pi over 2 minus a plus b and sine a plus b equals cosine pi over 2 minus a minus b. We apply the cosine difference identity to get sine a plus b equals cosine pi over 2 minus a cosine b plus sine pi over 2 minus a sine b. Since cosine pi over 2 minus a equals sine a and sine pi over 2 minus a equals cosine a, then sine a plus b equals sine a cosine b plus cosine a sine b. The equation sine a plus b equals sine a cosine b plus cosine a sine b is an identity as it is true for any real number a and b. This is called sine sum identity. If in the sine sum identity, sine a plus b equals sine a cosine b plus cosine a sine b, we replace b with negative b, we get sine a minus b equals sine a cosine negative b plus cosine a sine negative b. Now let's have sine difference identity. Deriving the sine difference identity. Applying even add identities, cosine negative b equals cosine b and sine negative b equals negative sine b, we get sine a minus b equals sine a cosine b minus cosine a sine b. The equation sine a minus b equals sine a cosine b minus cosine a sine b is an identity as it is true for any real number a and b. This is called the sine difference identity. Now, let us derive the tangent sum identity. We use the fundamental identity tangent a plus b equals sine a plus b all over cosine a plus b. We substitute the sine and cosine sum identities. We have 
tangent A plus B equals sine A cosine B plus cosine A sine B all over cosine A cosine B minus sine A sine B. Dividing the numerator and denominator by cosine A cosine B, we get tangent A plus B equals sine A cosine B over cosine A cosine B plus cosine A sine B minus over cosine A cosine B all over cosine A cosine B over cosine A cosine B minus sine A sine B over cosine A cosine B. Simplifying, we get tangent A plus B equals tangent A times 1 plus 1 times tangent B over 1 times 1 minus tangent A times tangent B. So, we're going to have tangent A plus B equals tangent A plus tangent B all over 1 minus tangent A tangent B. The equation tangent A plus B equals tangent A plus tangent B all over 1 minus tangent A tangent B is an identity as it is true for any real number A and B. This is called tangent sum identity. Let us now derive the tangent difference identity. In the tangent sum identity, tangent A plus B equals tangent A plus tangent B all over 1 minus tangent A tangent B. We replace B with negative B we get tangent A plus negative B equals tangent A plus tangent negative B all over 1 minus tangent A tangent negative B. So it will become tangent A minus B equals tangent A plus tangent negative B all over 1 minus tangent A tangent negative B. Applying even other identity for tangent, tangent negative B equals negative tangent B. We get tangent A minus B equals tangent A minus tangent B all over 1 plus tangent A tangent B. The equation tangent A minus B equals tangent A minus tangent B all over 1 plus tangent A tangent B is an identity as it is true for any real number A and B. This is called the tangent difference identity. Here is the summary of the trigonometric identities involving sum and difference of angles. So have a screenshot of this. Here are the references used in this learning module. Always remember, do mathematics to learn mathematics. Practice, improve, and stay curious. Keep safe, stay healthy, and God bless everyone. See you next time in our next lesson.